Hey guys, um, welcome back. Uh, I just thought I would tie, show you how to tie the um, the Thunder uh, Cascade. Um, just why I had some of the materials out from tying the my usual shrimp variation. So it's just to show you how to put the wee fly together. All we're basically doing here is tinkering about and changing um, the top end of the fly. Now the hook in the vise is a Partridge Patriot double and size 8. And the reason why it's a size 8 is because that's the size that I'm tying. The thread that I'm going to use to tie the fly is the Uni 3880 in um, black. So we'll just come in a couple of mil behind the air, the air the of the hook. And just run the thread down sort of way halfway down the shank. Now once you start putting your thread onto the hook, this is technically called dressing the fly. Now the tag in the rib is going to be an ultra wire and silver. I like to use the ultra wires, they're nice and bright. So we're just going to catch this on top of the shank of the hook and then simply just work our thread down just until we're in line or just maybe even just slightly past the points of the hooks. Then we're going to come around with five turns. Now the reason why I'm taking five turns instead of four is because the wire is thinner in diameter than oval silver or gold tinsel. Now I'm just going to catch that in underneath that locks in your your tag at the back. You want to try and make your flies as strong as you possibly can. Is what, we, is what my view is anyway. Now I'm just going to work the thread forward. Just be patient with your wire if you're tying it in like this. Then at this point just bend the wire back on itself. Nice and tight. And work your thread back down. Tied up against your wire tag. Now just flip that over now to see it. That's the wire band around on itself. That's not going to pull out it's literally the would have to bust to ruin your fly. Now the tail just like a cascade it's looking some orange and yellow bucktail. Now I like to tie my tail in roughly about the twice the length about a length and a half the twice the length of the hook over the back. We'll just catch that in and just always advancing your thread forward just have a wee check at your tail, see what way it's sitting, happy enough of that. Then we're just going to come in with the excess of the bucktail, trim that away in a bit of a tapered cut. The end of the tail I'm going to put in two strands of pearl flash, and this here is the, the micro flash. I tend to be using the, the micro flash more suits the, the salmon flies. Now I'm just going to come around with a pinch and loop and take another turn. Fold this back and take two turns over it. Now they're just holding turns because we're going to come up the hook and then we're going to go back just moisten that even the desk and that that will that, that fly shall be secured in once we head back down. At this point just concentrate and just advance your thread forward just hang in your, your bucktail and then we're just going to work our thread back down just come in just hold your tail just work the thread down tight up against your wire tag at the back now that's our that's our tail in so we're looking grand next you're looking a large holographic silver tinsel and you just can't see it because the the labels on it. This is a large holographic silver. And you can use gold and use chartreuse. I'm just going to pull that in just sort of way half the length of the body as you can see there and then just work our thread up catching in our large holographic. Then we're going to come around with our holographic tinsel. Right. See at this point just stop, you don't need to rush up, it's not a race. Just check, make sure you're nice and tight and square at the back. And then just simply, just doing overlapping turns. Just bring up your silver holographic tinsel, that's your first turn to hold it. 
and a further tool secured in. Then come in and just trim the waist away. The front part of the body, you're just looking at some uh, black floss. This is just uni floss that I'm using. So we'll just take a length of that off. Staff it up to the hook. Just come around with a turn. Same again. Use your material as a sort of a measurement and then just advance your thread forward to that point that you want the front body to be. Yeah, just run the floss through my, my fingers and then just bring your floss up just in slightly overlapping turns to meet your thread. Follow this around with your, your thread and a couple of turns will catch that in too. Come in and just trim away the, the waist. Then we're going to bring up our silver wire. Now you're roughly, rule of thumb, four to five turns of the wire up the body. Follow that around with your thread. A couple of tight turns to secure and you can bend and bring away the wire. Then we'll come back down. Now the wing, and this is where it's just you're just tinkering with everything. The wing you're looking some fairy brown fox. So just take a pinch of the fox, see what we're like. It's okay. Trim that away. You see once you get into the rhythm of hand these, you can knock these these type of flies like the cascade, any variants in the cascade, you knock them up in no time. Just takes me a bit longer because I'm just trying to explain the the process the best that I can and hopefully I'm doing that. Now, that's the wing. So you can have the wing as short, you can have it as long as you like. It's up to you, it's your fly. I just like my wing on this size of hook. So really you want your wing um to be proportionate to the size of the hook and the fly that you're tying would be would be my view. So just offer it up and I just want the wing tips of the fox coming past the, the bends of the hook. Then I'm just going to hold it on top, come around with a pinch and loop, and a couple of turns just to, to tighten up. Yet again you'll have noticed there, it's not, you're not turning thread on one spot, always bringing your, your thread forward the best that you possibly can, then just come in and trim away the waist. Then we're going to go back to our two strands of pearl flash that we used for the tail. I'm just going to offer these up into the wing. Round with a turn. A couple of turns to hold. And then just fold the flash back on itself and work your, your thread back up over the top. And then we can just fix the flash just to where we want it in the wing. Now we're, we're not looking too bad, we're looking grand. So at this point, now you can do this a couple of ways. You can put your orange hackle on first, then the blue. Or you can put the blue, the orange hackle on, then put on a wee throat of the blue. Now this is a, this is a blue hen hackle that I'm using. So just strip away the rubbish from the bottom. Just fold back your, your hackle to reveal your tip and you're just creating a, a Christmas tree type shape. Then we're just going to offer this up to the hook. I'm just going to come around with one turn. That holds the hackle in position. Just fold the tip of the hackle back and you're just tying up over the top of the tip. Now, I'm only going to look probably one turn of this. Maybe a, a turn and a half at the most. That's really going to do me there. Not going to want any more fibre on than that. So just follow this around with your thread. Nice and tight turns just to catch in your haggle. Now the stem's thin enough, but the reduced bulk, just keeping your thread tight. Just peel off the excess fibre. It seems like a bit of a pain to do all this, but 
you want to try and make your fly, like I say, all the time as strong as you can possibly get it. I'm just building the thread back up over the stem of the hackle. Then you can come in, you can break away the stem. Yeah, that's our that's our nice blue hackle one. Now you can use a straight through orange cock or hand hackle, but at this point I like to use the lace wing. So this is the, the whiting. Let's bring it over that way a wee bit, sorry. So you can see it, that's the, the whiting lace wing there. And it comes in many, many different colours. Uh, people will ask me where to get it from. I buy the, the lady the whiting lace wing off a, a gentleman called Nage at Lakeland. So if you Google Lakeland Fly Tan, Nage will be able to, to sort you out. I see him again, we're just stroking the, the fibers back to create that Christmas tree type shape. And this is a hand hackle too. So we're going to just offer this up, take a turn, we're going to fold the tip back again. And then just work our thread back up over the tip on the hackle. Slide your fingers back, the tip of the hackle has come out. Just break that away. And then we're just going to stroke the fibers back with our scissors. A turn, turn the half of this will be ground as well. So we've plenty on there. So I'm just going to take another half a turn here. Just tie this off in underneath. Run with a turn, and then a couple of turns to, to hold the hackle in position. Now, I don't want to be creating too much bulk here, so the best thing to do is to come in and trim away the, the stem and the hackle at that point. Then just come in, just any favours that want to go forward, just fold them back. And then just build up a small head. Now you can finish at that. This pattern doesn't require jungle cock. But I have two eyes here on my desk. So we're just going to get those lined up. So that's the, the two jungle cock eyes now. Just come in here, just hold the two eyes in your other hand. Just don't be trying to strip them off, just, just fold it back at this point. Then come up and use your eye of the hook as a divider. And just come in after the jungle cock up to where you want them to be on the hook. Just hold them onto the sides or up into the, the hook, up into the wing. That's the way you want to tie them in. Now these are just loose turns of thread. Then we'll come in and check and see what we're like. Now, just on my side here, this one has just come down. So we're just going to bring that up. Then we're just going to check the length. I am happy with that now. The way that's sitting. So we're just going to hold everything here. Just hold the two jungle cock eyes. Two or three turns heading down towards the eye of the hook. Just come in and fold back your jungle cock eyes and just tie up over the top. And you're creating your head here at the same time. So just take your time. There's no rush, like I say. You want to tie good, solid quality flies now. Keeping your your thread tight and come in and you can break away the stems of your jungle cock. Then we'll come in with our whip finishing tool and just do one a whip finish just to finish you off. Put your thread nice and tight. You can see the tight and pull you can see the hook moving towards me. Then come in and trim away your your tan thread. So there you go. That's the the Thunder Cascade. Right, like I do in all my salmon flies. Best to come in here with a wee drop of super glue. Now, just be careful, guys, if you're going to use super glue. You just don't want to ruin your hard work and the dressing at the top. So just take your time with the super glue. And then once that dries, I'll come in at that two coats of clear varnish. Just to, to seal everything up. But that's the, the Thunder Shrimp. It's very much the Cascade. 
sorry, the thunder cascade, very much like a cascade. You're just changing the top, the haggles in the, at the top. But yet another variant that's probably worthy of a place in, in your box. So, like I say, coming in the winter now, plenty of time if you can get it, get away from the good lady, um, or to get away from the good man and tie a few flies. So, tie a few of those up. Let me know how you get on with the time process. Um, let me know, guys, too, if you're you're enjoying the videos. If there's anything you'd like me like to see me do different, or I'll do my best to try and oblige. But until next time, please stay safe and take care of each other. See you on the next one.